cruisingwithted.com recently hosted Laurie Cohn of Shore Excursions Group, the largest shore excursion company in the world, for a unique look at shore excursions for your upcoming vacation. All right. Thank you for joining us today. This is Cruising with Ted. Okay. I'm a travel agent. We're here uh, and we have various Zoom meetings. You may have attended our meetings before. You might be a member of one of my Facebook groups. But I wanted to thank you for joining us today. Um, today, we have the opportunity to speak with a uh, executive of a, with a largest, the largest shore excursions uh, company in the world, Shore Excursions Groups. So um, we have Lori from Shore Excursions, Lori Cohn. Okay, she's been in the industry for over 35 years. She's very experienced uh, in all aspects of cruising, particularly shore excursions. Um, so we really, really want to welcome Lori Cohn, Vice President of Sales of Shore Excursions Groups. Go ahead, take it away, Lori. Thank you for joining us. Okay, you need to okay, unmute. Okay, there. We unmuted, and now we're yes. going to share. And voila. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Are you seeing the the, the slide, Ted? Uh, you don't seem to be sharing. Um, no, not yet. Okay, let's try that one now more Now you're click. starting to share. Now we see a slide. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining today. I'm excited to tell you about all the opportunities, how when you're working with uh, Cruising with Ted, you get to the, explore the world with us and in greater uh, uh, arrangements than you can ever imagine. We have been working now for 15 years delivering the highest quality shore excursions to all of the places where you have been cruising for um, for this time. And we are operating in smaller groups and higher quality. And our whole goal is to provide these amazing experiences um, working with our, our agency partners. So working with us, um, we are all industry veterans, our whole company. We are based in South Florida intentionally. It is the perfect pool. It's the largest area of uh, uh, cruise centric businesses. And so we have a great team who've worked very diligently for the last 15 years developing tours. Uh, we are lower price, we are higher quality, we are smaller, uh, more intimate groups, and we have the best guarantees. I'm going to tell you about those because um, I bet some of you have had some experiences uh, with other companies that you would not have had with us. Um, we have the largest portfolio of tours, and you're going to find some great discount packages when you're cruising and you're gonna be hitting several different ports along the way, there's no reason why you couldn't save additional money by booking one of the bundles. And there's different types. There's active and adventurous or city sightseeing if you're looking for something more relaxed. And you'll find these on most of our itineraries. So we're really excited to share this information with you. I think it's also important, I know COVID is in the rear view mirror. I know that there are some, uh, some places where people are talking about it again, but listen, it's really good to know what we did considering um, we are the, uh, the only standing company after the pandemic. So um, we are the ones that you want to work with. We actually, the moment the cruise line started, canceling their voyages. Although this sounds like it, it was a heroic move for us to refund every client, it was not. It was just our standard policy. We have a policy that says if you cannot take our tour for reasons outside of your control, for example, a ship is late into port, there's been a delay due to weather or an engine failure or a tour can't take off a helicopter because of weather, there is nothing for you to worry about. Those tours are refunded, whether you have taken any kind of insurance, cancellation protection, whatever. You don't even have to worry about that because our tour, our policy is if you cannot take that tour, we are going to refund it. 
Um, we also have a very strict policy. The reason we are still standing after this pandemic that shut our industry down for nearly two years, um, we have a very strict policy of never spending your funds. That is why we are able to stand by our word and why we were able to do what we did. Other companies, unfortunately, were not in that position, and that is why they are no longer um, in business. So we're very proud of that. And of course, we have an incredible staff here to help you with all your excursion questions. So um, rely on, on Ted's uh, Cruising with Ted's Shore Excursions Department to help you enhance your vacation. So those are the important things uh, about um, who we are. What we've done is create the best buying opportunity for you. We have guarantees in place that actually one of you has already mentioned as before we even started is some of our guarantees. So I'm going to get to that, uh, that best, you know how they say that you save the best for last. We have a low price guarantee and that means you're not going to find our excursions for a lower price anywhere. And in that, that unlikely event that you do, you're going to find it and send it to us and we're going to match that price if it is actually the same tour. So no worries about that. We also have a guest satisfaction guarantee. So if you are unhappy with your tour for any reason, you're going to let us know and we are going to investigate and we will make it right for you. So even if it means a full refund, of course, there's, you know, a various sides of stories we have, have find out um, in great detail we investigate and we are very thorough with vetting our operators so the reason we are scored so high on our ratings is because we deliver a great product and as i said saving the best for last our guaranteed return to ship our, we have amazing technology that works with ted's website and when you connect to his shore excursion site through the Cruising with Ted website, you will be able to book with the best technology. Um, we guarantee to get you back to the ship on time when you're booking through our site because we only show you those tours that work for your cruise. Um, you're going to get an email from Ted. It's going to have a link in it. It'll take you right to your cruise. And if you book an excursion, we guarantee to get you back to the ship on time. If for some reason you miss your ship, we will pay to get you to your next port of call covering all expenses. So if that could be uh, planes, trains, automobiles, hotels, meals, whatever. And then we will pay you $1,000 per person for the inconvenience. So if there's any guarantee that puts your money where your mouth is, that one certainly does it. So keep and keep that as uh, for for confidence there. Um, and of course, we have our guaranteed departures. When you book an excursion with us, that tour is guaranteed to go. Even if you are the only two people on that tour, you are not going to get a call the week before saying we're so sorry that tour is not going to operate unless you pay us more money. Your tour, once you have your e-tickets, is guaranteed to depart. Um, we now have nearly 5,000 tours in our portfolio that you can work through on any of your destinations, really, whether you're booking a cruise or a hotel um, through TED, it doesn't matter. You can still use our excursions. We will help make arrangements um, for uh, pickups at hotels or central city locations. If you're going to be in a hotel or a resort, um, we can help you with those. We are in more than 300 ports around the globe. And if you're cruising, we cover 99% of cruise lines, itineraries, North American popular cruise lines. So likely you'll find something through TED and uh, including private tours. I know many of you have probably been more interested in private opportunities since, uh, since the pandemic. We offer our private tours are often lower priced even than the cruise line's shared tours. So keep that in mind before you buy anything. Make sure you're going to TED's website. Uh, you click on the cruises box to get to the shore excursion site and make sure you're looking there before you buy anything else. The bundle packages I mentioned to you are just, they're hand curated based on different types of tours for your itinerary. So uh, depending on what your interest is, you'll most likely find a bundle that works for you. 
And we are everywhere. So it doesn't matter what type of cruise you're taking, whether it's a river cruise, whether you're uh, on a, a Caribbean or if you're in the Med going to South America, uh, make sure you're, you're shopping with Ted for the best deals and the best excursions. Um, some of the things I wanted to highlight for you, um, these are the most fond memories for me. I just spent the summer in Europe with my almost 16 year old daughter. It was a dream trip and I did take her to the Amalfi coast. We absolutely did a phenomenal cooking tour and in Mykonos, we had a wonderful beach day. So if you're going there, make sure you look at our excursions. We'll have something that you're going to love. Alaska in this past summer, this summer, it just passed what weeks ago, sold out. We literally were unfortunately having to refuse booking requests because our operators were so busy. It was such a, um, a busy summer for Alaska. And we're so glad that we were there to help our operators recover. It was, they, they were hit very hard, um, with the pandemic. And it's just great to be partnered with such wonderful people as they are recovering as well. But we have amazing tours here that will save you money over the cruise lines. And it's just an opportunity not to miss. And those of you who are, are sailing the Caribbean, listen, it is close. It's our backyard. It's a quick getaway. Um, sometimes it's cheaper to take a weekend cruise than stay home. Um, going out to dinners and restaurants and movies at home could certainly uh cost you a pretty penny, whereas you're on one of these great weekend deals and you're going to Mexico or you're going to Nassau, um, you might have done everything the cruise line has to offer. You should take a look and see what we can offer you here as well. So um, reviews, how many of you did not shop online before COVID? Um, I raise hand, I never did. And since COVID, I cannot tell you how important those reviews were to me. When I was shopping online, my child was 12 going on 13. She was growing, she needed different stuff. Well, reviews really made a difference for me. It's no different with us. Um, we really encourage you to tell us about your experience so that we can help other um, buyers with their with their decisions. And because we work with the best of the best, we are so proud of our rating, nearly five out of five stars. So um, it's, you know, it's the quality of the tour. It's the size of the tour. It's the operators who, you know, really love our clients. They, they love working with us. Um, it just makes the whole booking um, with us such so worthwhile. So I wanted to show you, I've, I'm sure you're already familiar with the Cruising with Ted website. This is the link. Um, when you go to the site, you would click on the cruises button. I have it circled here in red. Hopefully you're seeing that. When you click on the cruises page, it will then take you to this page that has a couple of these tiles here. The shore excursions tile is on the, the last one on the, on the first row, right-hand side of the page. You simply click that button and you will get to Ted Shore Excursions page where you are uh, have access to all of those same guarantees. Um, so it's definitely a worthwhile if, uh, if when you're booking your vacations, you are most likely going to start getting some emails from Ted and the team, uh, all of the uh, wonderful agents who work with him. Um, these emails will come to you based on your itinerary. We're going to send you reminders so that you know uh, to, to remember to look for these deals. The sooner you book, the more more likely you get your first choice in, in tour and time. Uh, sometimes you, we might come back to you and say, I know you requested an 8 a.m. That one's not available. Uh, can you take a 10 a.m.? So there's some going back and forth on that. Um, but you uh, will get these emails. You can click on any of the links. That will also take you to Ted's Excursions website where his agents are encouraging you to take a look so that they can save you time, save you money, and also give you a better experience on your excursions. Um, so we can have you shop by day. 
Uh, you simply, and you notice we have the, the times, remember I told you, you can't book something that doesn't work for your itinerary, super easy. And then any of the special deals or bundle packages you're going to find here, you can shop those as well. Very easy to book these. So no matter where you're traveling, um, you want to make sure you're taking a look at these excursions. Um, personalized just for your cruise. Before you buy, you are going to know what size is your group. Is it a, a under 20? people? Is it 20 to 50 people? The type of tour, how active, how, um, how much adventure, how, uh, what the inclusions are, if there's any food or beverages included, how much activity level, how long are you going to be on that tour? Of course, it will definitely work for your itinerary. Otherwise, it wouldn't show up. And then, of course, it would tell you where the meeting location is. More detail comes in your e-ticket, and I'll show you that as well so you know what you're looking for. But shopping is easy if you've ever ever shopped on Amazon. You select the tour. There's more description below here. There's access to the review so you can see what other people have said about it. Um, you, it's pre-populated with the date that you're in that port, um, but there might be multiple departure times. So you might want to look at that drop down arrow where the time is um, in case you have a different, uh, if you're a, a later morning person, you don't want to do that early morning tour. Maybe there's a later option being offered. Then you enter the number of adults, the number of children, add to cart. And at that point, it's super easy. You would then either proceed to looking at other other tours on other dates and other ports. Um, and then you would do the same thing, select your tour, select the time, the number of people, add, add to cart. And then when you're done, you would simply go to checkout and you can check out with your credit card. It's all a secure site. Um, and then uh, we're going to send you an email with your e-ticket once all those tours are confirmed. We work with hundreds of operators all over the globe that we have vetted personally, but some of them are smaller, not as sophisticated as we are. They're in, in you know, further away ports. Um, it might take them a few days to actually get back to us and confirm your tours. So we ask you for 72 hours from the time you place your booking through Ted's site before we actually uh, confirm the tours for you. We will uh, we will get your credit card approved, but we don't actually submit that charge until we know the tours are confirmed. So you have no worries about that. If the tours are con not confirmed, that card is never charged. Um, we are working with hundreds of operators and it is not live inventory. They have to go and make sure that your tour date, your tour time um, is available. So uh, bear with us as we go through that process to get it confirmed. We had the pre pandemic, we had less than a 1% refusal rate from our operators. So uh, most of you never even knew the tours were, were could not have been confirmed. Now that we are post pandemic, there's still some of our operators that are recovering. And they have fewer tour guides, fewer vehicles out on the road. <clears throat> So we are definitely selling out earlier than we had pre-pandemic. So that's why I encourage you, if you are traveling anytime in the not too distant future, you should start looking for your excursions now. You want to get confirmed on your first choices. Um, when we send you your e-ticket, it is an actual email that you get um, where it says you, uh, uh, you have links to actually print out your e-ticket and to get your summary of charges. Um, all of that is right here in this email. When you open up the e-ticket, of course, it has our logo with Ted's a agency because that's who you're booking with. Um, and then you have your meeting instructions, what to do if the ship changes itinerary. Don't assume that your tours are automatically canceled. If they are going to shift dates or they're going to postpone a port, we are still able to modify your reservation. So don't, don't assume and don't go to the ship's uh, shore excursions desk. They can't help you with the excursions that you book with us. But of course, course now um, we are accessible through our 24-hour emergency service line and our local operators their phone numbers are here so you are never left without support no matter where you are um, okay, so I mentioned this already. You are booking when those are requests. 
when they are confirmed, we actually charge the credit card at the same time the e-tickets are issued. You don't have to sign into anything. You're just going to get this email with these two links. Make sure you print those tickets and take it with you. Believe it or not, a lot of our emergency calls are, um, are clients who have forgotten to print their e-ticket and they don't remember their meeting instructions. So try and remember, print those out, stick them in with your passports uh, so that you have them with you and you know where to go when you get off the ship. Normally, our pickup points are right past security. Because we are not cruise line tours, you have to walk outside of the security gates to meet our, our guides. And they all have signs. When I got off the ship in all the ports I went to, there were guides holding shore excursions group signs everywhere you look. So um, it's very easy to find the guides there. We are here to help you with your excursions Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Time. So if you have questions and you want to speak to one of our excursions experts, please feel free to call us. When you book over the phone, they're going to ask you how you heard about us. Please make sure you tell them that you were uh, you had attended this Cruising with Ted webinar today so that we can make sure that we let Ted know that um, thanks to him, you got to get uh, a, a cruise shore excursion booked with us. Um, if you have any questions, there is a toll-free number up here. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, here's a couple of email addresses for cruise questions. You would always email those to hello at cruising with Ted. There's no G there, cruisingwithted.com. And for excursions questions, you can send those over to info at shore. EX. Notice there's two E's in that shore X. Um, this completes the presentation. So I am sure. open to any questions that you might have. So Lori, um, do you know how to get to the chat or uh, if any I do. Uh, people are here that can help with that? And also, if anybody has any questions, please put them in the chat now um, to get the, the chat uh, feature by putting control H on your Zoom on your keyboard. Um, but if you need help with that, let's take up some of these questions and see if anybody else also I'm specifically interested in if, if anyone has booked through shore excursions. Also, if you have any uh, experience with, you know, uh, uh, shore excursions in general that you want to comment on. Um, go ahead, Laurie. Let's take up some of these in detail. Thank you. Sounds great. Absolutely. So um, Shore Excursions Group is privately owned. Two gentlemen who met when they worked at Royal Caribbean, they were uh, senior executives there. And they're the ones who had the idea to open up this company. They were, um, as executives in cruise lines, you are very attuned to guest comment cards. Guest comment cards can make or break someone's career at a cruise line. So um, when they were seeing that shore excursions were rating lower than baggage handling and uh. air transportation, they realized it was a huge opportunity to offer higher quality. They're both very out outdoorsy, adventurous, and they believe that excursions could make or break a vacation. I mean, it's not only the ship, it's where you're going. It's what you're doing with your, your family, your spouse, your, you know, your, your friends. When you're going on these vaca vacations, these are the things, the, the memories that you bring back home with you. You should see the pictures that I have from the Acropolis or from... Um, the bridges in Venice, the Grand Canal, our, our gondola ride. I mean, it just, these memories are what we want to help you make. So this is why we do what we do to offer you these excursions. We know that the cruise lines, their main focus is cruising. They want to give you an experience on the ship. Our only focus is shore excursions. We do private excursions. We even can customize excursions. So Michael was asking if, if we can do that. We have a team that does customized excursions. These are premium excursions where they're completely private just for you. So that is absolutely something that we can help you with. Um, I'm just scanning through. Uh, Lori is asking about our return to ship guarantee. Um, I'm going to just mention it here. I know we had a slide. This might have come in at the beginning. Our guarantee is we're going to get you back to the ship on time. And if for some reason out of our control, you've missed the ship, we're going to pay to get you to, their to the next port of call. 
covering all expenses, um, planes, trains, automobiles, and meals. And then we're going to pay you $1,000 per person for the inconvenience. And if a port changes time and a ship is being moved, don't assume your, your, your excursion is canceled. Oftentimes we are in touch with the port agents, just like the cruise lines are, and our, our operators know to wait there for you. So no, don't even assume that anything is canceled. You just go on assuming you meet your, your tour guide based on when, uh, if, if, as, if you're supposed to meet as soon as your ship arrives, you go and meet when your ship arrives. Um, I don't think, think I'm not familiar with Abu Simbel and I guess we're going to have to take a look at that um, but keep in mind we are developing tours um, every day we have a goal to launch a thousand new tours um, it's a lofty goal and hopefully we're going to be uh, close to reaching that when the time comes um, Viking we do have some tours for Viking uh, some of them have no excursions now or they are private. There are some less visited ports and fewer ship where fewer ships go to. We do focus, have a big focus on where the more ships are located. Um, so we will be developing some of these more esoteric ports as more companies come back online. We are still, I hate to keep repeating that we're still a bit in the recovery stage. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, so yes, please do keep checking back periodically. Um, well, you know, we want you to book your cruise. This is what uh, Ron was asking. Do you have to book your cruise with Ted? We want you to book with Ted. He's got some amazing team members who can save you lots of time and uh, energy booking your vacation. But um, if it starts with booking your excursions through him, I know that's a great way to start. If he can save you money there, I bet he can save you money in lots of other places as well. And, you know, um, it, it never hurts to have uh, an experienced um, professional behind you. I, if any of you got caught up in anything during the pandemic, you know how important it is to have an advocate. So keep that in mind. Um, uh, anything else, Lori? I'm, I'm scrolling. Sometimes cruises do not match the actual itinerary of the cruise. Uh, that's unusual. That is someone's asking about cruise excursions not matching the itinerary of the cruise line. We're on an automatic feed with itineraries. It does take a, a, a maybe some time to process that, but it shouldn't be several weeks. So if that's something you've experienced, please make sure you're emailing. I'm going to just uh, scroll ahead, try and scroll ahead one back one page. So I'll leave our contact information. Make sure you reach out to one of the experts here so we can get that looked at for you. Um, I, I, someone's asking about Greenwich. Uh, that's kind of the same answer with our development. Um, and this, uh, this webinar is being recorded. So if you need to see the beginning, if you miss the beginning, I know you can always get that um, through, uh, through Ted and his team, they can, I'm sure, share that with you. Uh, and I'm sure it will be posted somewhere where you can access it. So that's all the questions that I have seen. I really thank you for taking time. And Ted, I'm going to turn it back over to you. All right. Thank you so much, Lori. As I, as you, if you missed the beginning, Lori's with Shore Excursions Group. They are the largest, uh, shore excursion provider in the world, actually. And, um, and the reason we work with them is we did we did work with other companies as well, um, and you know during the pandemic it's it was pretty rough on travel providers in general, particularly the shore excursions companies, um, you know just trying to keep everything afloat. So they actually survived and they're doing well. So because of our trust and our uh, their ability to deliver, um, we do recommend that you use them. It's not like you have to. You can there's there's tons of companies out there, but uh, they are our recommended company. So since the turn of the century, this is Cruising with Ted, we have successfully assisted tens of thousands of discerning travelers like you. So we do small ship cruise planning, airline reservations, boutique hotels, unique destinations. Our agents average over 20 years of seasoning in the travel industry. Um, we have a Facebook page called Cruising with Ted. You're welcome to go there. 
That's where we're going to put our videos, information on different destinations. Every day we're posting great information about the cruise lines, cruise companies, uh, news, and so forth. We have over 30 Facebook travel groups, um, and then they're, they're all listed on our Facebook page with over 60,000 uh, followers, members. So you're welcome to join uh, a Facebook group for the different travel vendors that we pro, uh, work with. We also have a Cruising with Ted YouTube channel. So this video and other videos, we are posting there regularly. Um, so we have not, not only we have this plan, but we have over a dozen, dozen or so uh, future um, events coming up just like this. So we'll announce those on our Facebook page and on our Facebook groups, and we'll also post them in those groups as well as our YouTube channel. So it's called Cruising with Ted. Um, if you, if she mentioned, we do have a website, it's called Cruising with Ted. Um, we do offer perks up to extra credits. Um, you know, here's here's something listed, $500 to extra credit just by working with us, even if you're already booked on a cruise, if it's a recent booking, particularly you can call our agents and see if we can still provide those amenities to your upcoming cruise. We also have, um, onboard hosts on some of the luxury cruises where you're going to get your own welcome reception, extra credit. Um, we call those our own, uh, we're part of Signature Travel Network. So that's a consortia of uh, agencies that work together and uh, combine our resources together. So um, let's go over some of the uh, things. So if you're booking a cruise on a cruise line, um, such as, uh, well, this one here shows Region 7, I'm, here, I'm there on Region 7 Seas. Um, they, they're, they're the most inclusive company. So all of the shore excursions, everything's included. Um, and, um, you really don't have to pay extra unless it's like a super expensive one, like a helicopter, Alaska one, but generally it's, it's all included. Um, this is, this is where I was on a Viking cruise. Now Viking includes a shore excursion, excursion, uh, with every sailing and, um, but then you would pay for the additional ones. Um, and then uh, Oceana, uh, that's the next one here. Uh, Oceana uh, doesn't necessarily include shore excursions, but they do give you some credits towards their excursions as part of the what they call an O-Life experience. So you can get optional ones, and then you can add on yourself. There's another luxury com company, Seaborn, which is a yacht cruise company. Now, um, they, they have tons of inclusions, um, smaller ships, but they don't include the shore excursion. So so these are some examples of different uh, travel vendors and what you can expect to get with them. So when you work with our agents, we're more familiar with what the various cruise companies uh, have. And, and you know generally the mass market cruises like Carnival, or Royal Caribbean, uh, those aren't gonna include the shore excursions. And um, so it just depends on which uh, company, what travel provider uh, you choose. So. You know, these are some of my top tips on shore excursions. Of course, we could offer, you know, talk about a lot more, but we're, we're short of time here. Um, so if you're going on a shore excursion, we, we want you to focus on one or two things you really want to see and do. Um, if you want to see the whole city and spend the whole day, um, that may not be the best thing because then you might, you might not want to, you know, you might not want to do that. For example, when I was in uh, Vienna on Alma Waterways, um, they had a, they had a, uh, you're, th you're there mainly during the day and at night. So they offered, um, uh, an excursion where you could go see a concert, a Mozart concert, but it took the entire night. You had to dress up for it. I wasn't really dressed for it. I didn't bring a suit. So I kind of felt out of place in the future. I would think, well, if you're going on a river cruise, you don't need a suit, but, but maybe you should, if you're going to go to the Mozart concert. So instead um, I, I took a, a little tour during the day, and then at night, I found my own Mozart concert. People were out there handing out tickets. So when you're, when you're traveling, book, book, some, book some excursions, but don't, don't take up the whole day, because then you might be precluded from doing something else. Does that make sense, Lori? What, what's your recommendation? You're on mute, but do you have to unmute, Lori? There yes. you go. Absolutely. Sorry about that. Absolutely agree. You know, um, for example, I was recently in Seattle. Um, we took a four hour tour of Seattle, four hours. That sounds reasonable, right? But, you know, we went everywhere in Seattle and it was really good. But then I realized, you know, we didn't really need a four hour tour to see the highlights. A two hour tour would have been OK. And then we could have done a little bit more on our own. You see what I'm saying, Lori? Yep. 
What, what, do you, what do you recommend? Like, uh, how, how would you approach this? Well, we, we, in a lot of ports, there's opportunities to book multiple tours. So um, definitely a, a chance for expanding horizons and, um, and exploring. But maybe don't overdo it. Listen, how often are you going to be in some of these places? It's, well, my, my, my wife question. tells me I, every minute is booked and, and we feel like we're obligated and it's too much. Like I'm, I'm a little bit frantic and I, I want to do everything. <laughs> but it, when you get there, I'm like, oh, my God, this isn't going to work. You know what I mean? You have plenty of time to sleep when you get back to the ship or you hit your, your hotel. So enjoy <laughs> the day. Time. Enjoy the night. Explore. It's, you know, all about these experiences. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I've been places and I, I meet someone because obviously I'm a salesperson. I like to talk and okay. I, I find something in common and. I've made so many friends just because of travel and, and it, it makes the world smaller and okay. I love it. I love no, it. No, somebody, 40 years in, in the industry. So and you're still learning more, right? Just I'm getting every day. And, and you're 35 years old. How, how, how does that, exactly. How, how did you know? <laughs> um, somebody said that when I'm on a cruise, can I, can I still book cruise, cruise excursions? Did, did we already answer that one? Uh, the did, cruise. Where do what was the question? Okay, let's say they're on a cruise, they're on Oceana, they're on a cruise. Uh, we do not know because of remember, I mentioned sometimes you might ask for an 8 a.m. tour and we might need to come back to you to say the yeah, aid yeah. isn't available. It's much too hard on a ship to reach you, so we will not. Um, take bookings once you're on board. It, we don't want you to have a, a, a negative experience, so okay. Okay. that's why we won't do that. Okay, so so do it before you go on board, and and, and honestly, don't try to book them in advance because they can't sell out too, right? Ex uh, absolutely. Uh, as I mentioned, I Alaska was completely booked up. It was it was uh -huh. um, hard to turn people away, but we were. Okay, and then uh, the the next thing here is consider transit time. So so you know you have to you have to you have to leave time to get to the ship and get back. Also, if you're if you're being taken to somewhere and you're on a tour and they let you go in the in the area the area there, you might want to spend some more time. So when you schedule your tours, keep that in mind, right, Lori? Right, absolutely, absolutely. But make sure yeah. that if you're on yeah. a tour and they give you free time and they tell you to be back by a certain time, it is your responsibility to make sure that you are back. And and, and guys, don't 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 take what she's saying lightly. When I was in Alaska, I was I was I was I was in the port, and uh, even though um, in Ketchikan, I believe the ship is right there and you can see everything, and you're in the store. But I'm in the shore. I'm in the store, and and time's coming, and I'm looking out the window, and they're starting to put the gangway up, or just about to. So <laughs> I ran and I got on the ship, but they're not going to wait for you. And that's another reason why I use Lori's company or go through cruising with Ted, is because we know the good companies to work with. Um, and, and to make sure everything works out okay. And and don't always believe on the cruise line. They're going to say, well, if you don't book it through us, you know, we're not going to guarantee you get back to the ship or whatever. You know, there is some truth to that. But, you know, I think they take it beyond belief. Like, uh, for example, I was on Royal Caribbean re recently. And, um, you know, they have a tour of Victoria. But the tour is on a bus. And, and again, not to speak badly of Royal Caribbean. We enjoyed the cruise. But, you know, in our expectations were as such, because it's a mass market cruise. So we took the bus tour around Victoria. It was probably twice as much as what Lori would charge. And it really just went around showing you the neighborhoods in Victoria. Like, here's this house here. Here's where the mayor lives. And I've been to Victoria before. And I'm like, where's where's Victoria? So at the end, they drop you off in the in the downtown in the in the uh, near the Empress Hotel, which I've stayed at, by the way. It's a beautiful place. You ever in Victoria, you want to stay there. But um, they drop you off there. So what I did is, and, and again, Lori, or someone else, we could have done a third party tour, but but um, I just found a cab driver and I said, "Hey, how much to take me around and take me back to the ship?" He says thirty bucks, and great. He took me to some great areas I haven't been to before. Chinatown. There's this special wharf place there, and and he took me back. You know, and it was fine. But what I'm saying is. You know, manage your expectations. If you're going on a mass market cruise and you're going on a tour like that, it's probably going to be a big bus ride and you may not be able to really do much. So keep that in mind. What, what, any comments on that, Lori? 
No, I'm I, sorry. I was seeing another question come in, but everything oh, you're saying take, is spot take, on. Take that question. Uh, well, it was a, a question about if a tour says five hours, is that port to port, meaning um, w that's when the time you you get picked up and the time you return. So, yes, um, I, I am saying yes, Robin, that is correct. I won't stop entering a text. Um, another one. Do we offer two days of excursions? of Budapest, like a two day program. I'd have to look for the actual itinerary. Um, you know, we had some wonderful ones in another place where unfortunately no one is able to visit now because of what's going on over in that in part Russia. of the world. Yeah, it's just, I, we have I, the most I, I amazing. Can answer that. I'd look on your website. I don't think you have two day tours. I think you have extensive tours, um, but you could take one tour one day if you're there, one tour another day. Absolutely. Which, which is a great question. Commonly, when you're on river cruises, you're going to have a pre or post hotel, either with the cruise line or without. And like, for example, on Viking or other cruise lines, they may not even offer a, a shore excursion there. Or, 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 or I was surprised on Viking when you're in Rome, sometimes they don't offer any shore excursion at all. And so, so um, go ahead. I stayed, I was in Italy for a week before I got on my cruise. So even okay. if you are, if you are extending your cruise vacation, either pre or post, um, and you're going to be in a hotel, you should definitely take advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. And that's, that's a great opportunity to work with us and work with companies such as this um, to work out your excursion. Um, guided tours versus on your own tours. So guided tour would be, you have someone with you. Uh, on your own tours would be either you get a, in, instructions or you're just, you know, following something as an app. Um, these these tours that we're talking about with Lori's group is our, our guided tours. On your own tours are ones that, for example, I don't know if you've realized this, I'm, and I forgot to pull up the, the name of the company, but there is actually a company that has pre-recorded tours that you can download on your phone and 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 they'll... And, and 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 it uses the GPS of your of your phone. So when you go to a different area, they will give you some guidance. Call me later and get more information on that. But but what is your thoughts on this, Lori, before I jump in and make a fool of myself? Yeah, Go no, ahead. I mean, I just uh, if they are vetted and you're they take you to safe areas, you just have to be careful about that. At least, you know, with our tours, they're all fully vetted. Um, the equipment is high quality. The guides are high quality. Um, oftentimes teachers or historians or librarians or, um, you know, uh, it could be a docent or, I mean, there's just, we have some great people. So just be careful where you're buying and make sure that, um, you know, your company is, is insured and vetted that that's why that's one of the reasons why you don't want to take any chances if you're going far away and, and you don't want to be left without any support. So right. I and always it, recommend us. Okay. 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 So he, here's my recommendation. I, I think that as much as you can, you should use guided tours. But I also think that you should leave a little open for Simone for Simone for your own travel time in the city or the area that you're in. Okay. If you like I say, if you book everything up and there's nothing left to do. And also you might get there and realize that maybe you need to be more open. For example, when I went to Alaska, um, we booked the standard um the what do they call these guys with the hatchets to throw in the hatchets and log their running on the logs what do you call that one Lori? um the log i can't i can't uh um uh, anyway Shelley, didn't we do that one the year? Axes and they're running on logs in alaska right yeah Shelley, we, remember that one anyway um so i booked that but it's kind of like okay i didn't realize that i could uh, maybe i should have done like one of these um float plane tours would have been better but because i booked that the float plane tour wasn't open later in the day so I either should have not booked anything at all, left it open, or, or booked the float plane, float flight plane tour at the beginning. So I'm just saying you need to keep in mind if if you, you might want to do something else. So uh, another thing too is on our website we have guides for every city, thousands of cities, every major city on the planet. We have extensive guides with maps and information, 
and uh, suggested tours. And our agents themselves know all about all these tours. And then we know about all these tour companies. So, so instead of trying to invent the wheel and do it on yourself, maybe reach out to us first. Uh, another important thing is to know your fitness level. And, and um, you know, maybe you're not up to climbing Mount Everest or, you know, or, or maybe you're not up to all that walking and, and maybe a bus tour is better for you. But I, what do you recommend in terms of figuring out your own fitness level, Lori, and how that's going to fit in with your plan? And we'll go yeah. we'll at, with our tours, they're going to tell you the level of activity. So hopefully, you know your own um, uh, abilities and you use that as a guide to pick the best excursions for you and take a look at the reviews. They'll tell you if uh, if something wasn't or seemed more or less than what we might have called it. Great. All right. Well, thank you. Here's some client testimonials. You know, people uh, work with us because we have really good customer services is Cruising with Ted. And you can find more information there on our website and on our Facebook page. Um, these are our different uh, uh, travel agents that actually are part of Cruising with Ted. Um, so there's their names and, and phone numbers there. If you want to reach out to us, um, please do so. Um, at this point, any, any of our agents, uh, you, you can speak up about your experience with working with people uh, on onshore excursions. Uh, anybody want to uh, talk about that and what you recommend? Agents, Shelly? Yes, Michael yes or, I, 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 I can. Um, I have a lot yeah. of experience with shore excursions group myself. I've been using them for 12 years probably. And I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of great experiences with them. I've been on, in, on tours, uh, also where maybe there was some bad weather and the tour had to cancel. I was auto refunded, no problem whatsoever. I enjoy the smaller groups, um, and the guaranteed departures. I've, I was on a, a yacht once, uh, with one other couple snorkeling that was supposed to have 15 or 20 people. So it was really nice to know that they go no matter what. Um, I also enjoy not being on a bus with 50 people that goes with four other buses that all go to the same touristy spot for shopping. And that is not something that I have ever experienced with short excursion group tours. Uh, I, I tend to find that uh, the pricing comes in less than cruise lines, uh, almost always, and sometimes significantly less. So that that is much appreciated. And just for our for our clients and for our members of our Facebook groups, I would just want to say, I know a lot of times I will have a client ask me about options for uh, ports that they've been to that are repeated. They do the same itinerary or maybe a couple of ports are the same, a couple aren't. They've already done the excursions that the that the cruise lines have to offer. And so this gives them a good option to say, hey, here's something else that might be available in that port. Or if in some cases when you know cruise line uh, excursions can be sold out, I've been able to find something with your excursions group. So I just really appreciate the um, all the options with them. Great, thanks, Shelly. Anybody else? So, so basically, I guess in an overview here, we want to we want to thank you for jo for joining us today. The the main reason why we wanted to have this presentation today is to help you. Whether you book your shore excursions through me or directly through the shore excursions company, or however you do it, we wanted you to be aware of the the options and and how you could save money, how you can be safe, how you can be more secure, how you can enjoy your travel more and just have more fun. So these are the main things that we want you to get out of this today, that you do have options. Um, we're here to help you if, if you don't have a travel agent. And um, there's our phone number there, contact with us. Um, you know, we do have exclusive offers and promotions uh, for all the different cruise lines, travel companies. Um, we really do thank you for joining us today. Please go to our Facebook group, Facebook page, Cruising with Ted, and like the page. Go to our YouTube channel, uh, sign up for the YouTube channel. But thank you so much. We will post a recording of this, but I really, really want to thank you for taking the time and uh, realizing this is an important aspect of travel shore excursions that that, you, that I don't think is focused on enough. And I just hope we were a little bit informative today and helped you out a little bit. Thank you so much for attending. This is Cruising with Ted signing out. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much. Bye. Cruising with Ted thanks you for watching and invites you to go to his Shore Excursions link. Just scan the QR code to plan your next vacation.
please visit Ted's YouTube channel, Cruising with Ted, and click subscribe.